Our objective here is to give folks an idea of what the Miniature Train Company fluid clutch is like on the inside. We have five of them out here at the Southeastern Railway Museum. One is functional at the time and we're trying to figure out how to get the other four up and running. One to go in our new rebuild project of a second locomotive and then have some backups. So these fluid clutches have a 90 weight oil that is used inside that is filled and emptied through a plug that's removed on this side of the clutch. This one we've removed all the bolts that go all, all the way around it that we're holding the two clamshells together. There also is a plate at this end that uh, has unfortunately just slot screws in it. Those have been removed to allow us to remove this plate. We found that on some of the other units, this plate is different and the seals are different. So you could find a number of variations is what we're, we're finding out. Once the, all the retaining bolts are removed, the clamshells can be taken apart, sort of, should be. And there you go. And initially, we found that uh, it takes some coaxing to get this apart. I wouldn't have been able to do that the initial time without even more effort. This is uh, one half of it, of the clamshell. The other side comes into this and this is the side that goes to the locomotive, or excuse me, goes to the engine and this is the side that's spinning all the time inside the clutch. The fluid of course allowing it to not do anything with the opposite side unless it is free to spin. That's of course why you cannot shift a miniature train company locomotive unless the engine's off. So you want to turn the engine off, then you can shift it in the gear and then it'll then it allow this side to stop to start to spin. The reason why it wasn't moving before is because it is attached to the transmission that's attached to the power trucks that are in the stop position because the brakes are on. So once the brakes are released, then that allows that whole system to be able to, to move and then this side can start to, to turn. There's fins on the inside that, interestingly enough, this particular one is in very good condition. We'll show you one in a bit that the this bearing had come apart and obviously they had con continued to still run it and it created uh, quite a bit of damage. So we've got really there's two two bearings. There's this bearing that fits in to the other side and then there's a bearing in this half of the clamshell. This one happens to be uh, ball type style. Some of the others have, have different style bearings in them. And so again, until you open a puzzle box, you're not quite sure what you got. They also seem to have varying uh, degrees of, of how they've done the seals. And we'll show you some comparisons in a second. Our intention here is to put these back together again and, and not worry about them for a while. You will have to determine whether you want to replace the bearings. Uh, for sure, I think that this one needs a seal replaced because there was some evidence of leakage. As far as 
bearings and seals we are hoping but not totally done all our research that those can all be found at any supply house that deals with this kind of stuff and uh, in the end you've got a lot of creativity that you may have to do we also we look at we look at this one here there's a small crack in it I don't know how much we need to, to worry about that will that uh, be something that will cause problems over time we have another one that is cracked and repaired again whether that will throw it off balance or these are not that fine of a machine who knows yet to be determined we can move on to two of the other units that we have here and kind of show you what we found in them this unit here we were able to get totally apart again the end piece the the, the cap piece here we we're able to get off this one is different than the other one was and my assistant lovely assistant here can hand me that one you can see this one does not have a place for the oil seal to be engaged with it actually just goes around the shaft the seals for this one were down further inside this one from the other unit that we looked at first has the seal incorporated into this piece this one we are able to get it apart i i have already removed one of the seals and totally trashed it taken it out uh, there's a second seal down further that we will also have to get out and i'm sure i'll wreck it getting it out but being careful of course not to do anything to the the housing this one has what is almost a sealed roller bearing i'm not sure if that's the right terminology but it is a definitely a different bearing than was in the other unit this one has been repaired at some point kind of looks a little sloppy uh, on the other side you see the repair here there is some damage around the center of the hub of the fins that potentially could have come from uh, a distant past failure of this roller bearing you will see an example of the worst possible in the uh, in the third victim here so obviously this one I think should not be put back together without doing something to replace these bearings it has some wear and tear on the other side as well here you can see around the fins the other thing we're not sure of is whether that damage needs to be totally removed or removed and built back up again uh, we we're not we're not sure at this point the third one we have here this one so far we haven't been able to get these screws out that hold the the protection cap on this also is the the knuckle that mates with the the locomotive or with the uh, the engine with the Wisconsin engine and it uh, it is also seized up so this one has some major problems but once we open it up you'll see why um, this this one because we can't get this knuckle off we can't even remove this piece and have it separate but this is what's left of that bearing that's in the center and it was totally destroyed with all of the rollers free free floating inside here and totally just chewed chewed the uh, the fins up there's still as you can see there's just aluminum dust that's uh 
that's inside. This one is obviously on life support at this point, so we don't know whether this one can be fixed or not. And again, how much the removal of some of the depth of the fins will that affect critically how these work.